What is up guys, me here, and today we are back in action playing some Resonant Rise And uh, today is gonna be freaking amazing So last time uh, we did some cool stuff, we started working, we, did, we it was like a pure brewing episode And I didn't even plan it, but apparently we did like three or four different types of brewing or whatever in the game uh, Which was pretty cool, uh, I actually really like uh, all of the methods of brewing that we did And we're going to continue Doing some brewing. Uh, let's just go ahead right at the beginning here. Let's uh, let's get a little let's get a little alcohol in our system. Uh, let me <laughs> uh, let me let me find a water bottle here. Uh, do I not have a water bottle somewhere? Uh, you know what? Maybe I could um, maybe I can just drink one of these. Can you drink without a thing? Yeah, there we go. Nice. And uh, I should have a glass bottle right here. Nice. And then boom, there we go. We have a grape. Wine. Let's test. Mmm. Mmm. Ah, oh, te tastes so good. We have resistance for eight minutes. Nice. And look at this. This is uh, the fermented and extended. I think this is the highest it can actually go. Um, but this resistance uh, is great. I don't really like the tipsy debuff, but it doesn't really look like the tipsy debuff does anything. I figured it would do like some kind of swirling thing with your screen or whatever. Um, so you guys might have noticed there's now paths. So uh, after last episode. I made some paths, and if we look in Batania here, we can actually see what they look like. Um, they're Batania paths, and you know what's cool is that actually there's supposed to be a feature, I think, in 1.9, where there's a path block that goes uh, sinks down one. Well, Batania's already done it, um, and I think it looks pretty good. I like how it does these like weird shadow things that I think look really good. Uh, but yeah, it's like sunken down the ground. I think it makes for a like a nice worn out like uh, path that's you know you can lay and do stuff on. Um, what is this called? If I could find it, I think it's called Trodden Dirt. I, I have it in my inventory. What am I doing? Uh, Trodden Dirt, it's really easy to craft. Uh, let's, did, mm, let's, um, there we go. Uh, it's just three pieces of coarse dirt. Now, the way you get coarse dirt is you actually drop normal dirt into uh, the thing, just like if you were making like a mana diamond or whatever. So it's pretty easy. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, so I've made some paths. I've put some apple trees around. I thought the apple trees were nice because then we can like come up and grab food. And, uh, you know, we adds a little bit of, um, I don't know, I think the area looks better. And then as you see, I've been bone milling the grass around everywhere. Uh, but yeah, let's let's walk through the, the, the forest here. And we have that. And if we come down here, you'll see that I did some pathway work right here. And then right here is uh, the mob spawner or whatever. So what we're going to be doing today is I'm actually going to have a path that goes up here. And we're going to do be doing like a little marketplace circle up there. And uh, we're going to have the path goes all the way up there. Plus, we're going to be working on a training ground. So what I'm going to be doing for the training ground is... Um, so this is just going to like border this and now we're going to go over like let's see one two three and then is this uh right above there yeah yeah yeah. so and then we're gonna go all the way up boom and then what's what this is going to be is uh you can actually i forgot to mention this um but i i'm gonna put the training dummy like right there right and then you can actually shift right click it to get the training dummy back you can't actually kill it and get rid of it and if you kill any like blocks underneath of it or whatever it just falls straight down so it's kind of like an entity in that way i don't know um Anyways, we're probably going to have like maybe uh, three or four over here on the left of little training things. And I'm probably going to do some like wood features on the ground right here. And then we're going to put like a fence over top of it. So, and then, um, then, you know, like we'll stand back here and, you know, shoot and, you know, train our archery and that kind of stuff. I think it'll look pretty cool. Um, I'm kind of excited about doing, let's see, one, two, three, and then come over one and then boomy and then boomy and then, yeah, there we go. There we go. And then I guess I built this so far. You know what I might do, actually? It might have been better if... Hmm, I don't know. Hmm. No, this is fine. This is fine. Yeah, and then uh, we'll, we'll do some, like, kind of features where it comes back into the hillside like this. And then we'll put, like, a, a backdrop on it or whatever. I think it'll look pretty sweet. Um, and then let's see. What else? I guess that's everything, really. Oh, yeah. Um... Last time I made a absorption potion. I don't know if I ever showed it because I think I edited it out. But I want to go ahead and eat it and see what it is. Oh yeah, that that that's pretty good actually. Absorption five for a minute thirty. Yeah, so we, we're pretty tough today. We might actually fight a wither. Um, we can get resistance. We can get regeneration and absorption. Also, uh, our our bo our bobble here uh does use mana and it uses mana kind of at a medium pace. I mean, I noticed my bar going down. Um, I since then took off my ring of mana. Uh, because I don't need resistance all the time. Uh, I might try to find something that I do need all the time. Like, let's say, for example, if I'm mining, I might make, like, a haste pendant, 
or if I'm like exploring, I might make a speed pendant, you know, that kind of stuff. If I'm fighting, I want to be tanky, I might make a resistance pendant, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it definitely is really cool. I'm excited about having it. Uh, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it, I'm going to work on some stuff, and I'll be back here in a second. Oh, I also forgot to mention, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point, make sure to go ahead and click the like button. It really helped me out, and uh, I will love y'all's faces freaking forever. Okay, so I've kind of built this little thing here. Uh, the first thing I want to do is let's just go ahead and place some fences right out, out here in front. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Maybe. Maybe we might do something different, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and place some fences, and then we're going to set down our dummies here. Uh, and I'm just going to set them, like, all the way in the back. Uh, actually, you know, that's that's a little premature. Uh, what I want to do is, uh, let's come back here. I'm going to grab my hammer. Where's my hammer at? Um, let's see. Carpenter's hammer. Do I have it in my inventory, or did I, like, throw it away? There it is. Okay. And then, uh, we're going to just have these guys go back one. That way we get a little bit of depth here. And, uh, then we are going to fill this up, um, with some dark oak. Let's just boomy, boomy. Boomy. And I've noticed it's easier to use slabs because, you know, it uses less resources or whatever. So there we go. There we go. That's uh, that's already filled in here. Uh, let's go ahead and place the dummy. Uh, boom. Now, what I thought would be a cool feature is we might... I wonder how this actually works. Can we, like... So this goes down like that, which is kind of cool. I'm not sure. We might have to change what the fence is right here. Like, uh, no, we want... No, let's... Yeah, maybe that? Yeah, maybe that. That might work. Uh, and then what you can actually do is you can put a lever and then have this go fully up like this. Boom. So what we could do is we could actually run redstone all these and then maybe like underground. And then um, we could even like set this on a timer where they each go up and down and we have to like shoot it and, you know, like get it before the door closes and stuff. And what I actually thought would be a cool idea is for our marketplace over here, we're going to stick like villagers and stuff in it. Um... We can do the same thing in their stalls. We can give them garage doors, but instead uh, we hook it up to a daylight sensor. So nighttime, all the doors close and they're little, they're little, you know, like things. And then in the daytime, all their doors open, which might be really cool. I don't know. We, we're going to play with this. It might be kind of like a cool little project that we do. Uh, but I think, I think this is uh, going to turn out pretty good. Okay, so this is what I've got so far. Uh, just put the little garage door in the back right here. I think it looks pretty good like this. Uh, I haven't done any redstone wiring. What I kind of wish I could do is like have this output a redstone signal, but it doesn't. I've tried. And then we could do like some kind of sc uh, scoring system. Um, I was also thinking maybe of like using mine carts to transfer mobs in here and then like killing the mobs and we could like set up some kind of like legit mini game if you guys have any ideas for something like that then that would be actually really sweet some kind of thing where i could do a scoring or maybe actually kill mobs or anything like that put it down below that'd be really cool um but i do like oh i didn't mean to do that i do like uh these little training dummies here uh let's go ahead and replace that guy down uh, because you know i like how they like sway and stuff um off camera i've been working for a couple hours here uh just kind of flattening the area out over here um, there used to be like gaping chasms and stuff here everywhere and I've been completely filling it all in and blocking off a lot of cave entrances and then uh, I actually want to get rid of this thing right here and then kind of like flatten out this whole little area so I'm almost done and then we're gonna have the path come up here and we're gonna have like a little cobblestone uh, center like it'll probably have cobblestone gravel and like this and dirt and stuff and then we'll have like little stalls all the way around I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do it yet but I think it'll be pretty cool um so some of you guys I don't think anyone's commented on this yet uh, but these things right here, if you actually swim down into the blood, um, there's like, there's usually chests and then there's actually spawners. So like spawners will like wreck your face off. It's kind of cool. It's kind of a neat little thing. Uh, but I want to get rid of all of this, uh, goal here. Um, can I, is this possible? Oh, I see. I see. Oh, look at this. There's like a little under thing. I didn't even notice this. Uh, uh dude, get out of here, man. Oh, there's a chest right here. Nice. Oh, did that, is that going to like blow up or something? Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Let's get out of here. Um, <laughs> don't blow up. Don't blow up. Oh, did I just see TNT? I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah, anyways, I'm going to, like, get rid of all of this stuff and then flatten this area out and uh, do that kind of stuff. So, yeah, it's going to take me a little bit. I've been actually working on it for a while. Um, I also got rid of all the, like, decayed trees where we had, I guess, meteors catch everything on fire or something. Or maybe this guy right here caught everything on fire. I'm not really sure what's going on. Okay, I'm back. So I've completely flattened this area and uh, I'm trying to make it I made it look as natural as I thought um, Of course, this is all flat so it doesn't look super natural But uh, we'll fix that with like trees and grass and paths and stuff eventually and uh, yeah So I've pretty much done this and uh, you might be wondering what these like three inner circles are Well, I was gonna do like an outdoor open market area, but I decided um, 
we might make this like a walled off area kind of uh, I'm not sure but this is gonna be like the wall right here and uh, it's gonna go up and then I might have some like logs go outwards like they have spikes or something and then do some kind of cool wall right here then the inside this is just gonna be kind of like a path so it'll be filled with cobblestone and dirt and path blocks and uh, gravel and stuff and then on the inside is actually where the Marcus stalls are gonna be so you're gonna have like a villager Marcus stall here here on all the corners and um, probably all along um, all the sides except for I think every side is going to have an entrance except for no I think this side might have an entrance too I might have to do something with this hill and then up here is going to be like a raised uh, platform or um, yeah I guess yeah just a raised platform and I was thinking in the middle of platform maybe kind of high up we'll do like a 7x7x7 seven by seven by seven villager uh, quad villager face thing uh, like right in the center and we'll make like uh, make like the eyes have an emerald and stuff and just kind of like show that this is the trading area that might be really cool um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get all of that done today I, I might work on it a little bit I think we might actually work on some more brewing today and maybe the automation of brewing I'm not sure I'm gonna have to think about it and I will be right back to you guys Okay, so I said I think we were gonna kill a wither today So let's just go ahead and I'm gonna make all the stuff that we need for the wither for Ted wither uh, And uh, we're going to make I'm gonna make uh, two uh, uh, Freaking broad lot whatever they're called the, the big swords. I'm gonna make two of the big swords I, I'm really tired right now, so I can't think of stuff um, But yeah, I'm gonna make two of the big swords one of them is going to be straight for beheading because right after this we're gonna go straight to uh, the wither and uh, well withers in the nether and murder the faces off and uh, that's gonna be pretty sweet. How many of these guys? So I have two of those, two of those. Uh, now I just need two more of these. I'm gonna make two of these. One's gonna be for beheading, like I just said, and then one of them's just gonna be like for normal stuff that we need to do, uh, like murdering the Wither's face and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and grab all this stuff. Come on, we got four of these, nice. Uh, let's go ahead and make this guy. So to make this guy, uh, we're, we're gonna do a little bit of this action, a little bit of this action, and a little bit of this action. Do I have any modifiers right here at the beginning? Ooh, I don't have any modifiers. Dang it. Dang it. Okay. Um, hmm. Hmm. You know what we could do? I guess we could just go level these up. I could go, like, murder the, the mob's faces for a little bit. Yeah, I might do that until we get some modifiers. I just need a couple because I think by default, uh, these have, uh, yeah, 20% chance to be head. I, I would like to get this up to, like, 50 or at least, like, 40 or something. That way, we don't have to kill that many withers. And we can have just, like, a permanent wither killing machine. So, yeah, I'm going to stay here. I'm going to murder these guys for a little bit. And I guess I will be back shortly. Okay, so I leveled this guy up twice, but uh, I'm a little too lazy to actually do this. It's pretty late right now, so uh, yeah, I'm really tired. I was like, nah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to spend 10 hours leveling this guy up. So yeah, we're gonna just going to add some modifiers to it. I actually kind of forgot that uh, we could do modifiers. But yeah, there we go. We got one modifier, and then uh, we... Wait, what? Wait, what, what, what did it just, okay, there we go, yeah, there we go, we got another modifier, so now we have three, uh, let's go ahead and add, I'm gonna do, I guess, uh, three beheading, one, uh, two, and then, uh, to three, and then, how, what is this at now, this is at, uh, let me, let me put this guy back in, this is at beheading three, so we have, uh, 50% chance, I'm happy with that, I'm, I'm completely happy with that, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna meet you guys in the nether. We're going to slay some withers and get some wither skulls, and it's gonna be pretty sweet. Okay, we're back. So the wither skulls took me a freaking long time, but I found like two extra nether fortresses, and we got a bunch of loot and stuff. Um, I went ahead and got all that, and I got everything prepared. So we're gonna go ahead and fight the wither now, and I'm excited. We're gonna be able to get our first nether star. Now, uh, one thing that you guys do need to keep in mind is that this is, uh, let me, why you do this to me? Um, that this is, uh, um, like, okay, yeah, game rule, uh, the, the mob creeping is off right now, and the reason I have that is because I just don't like, like, creepers, like, blowing up my stuff, man, and stuff like that, so, and I guess I could turn it off for this fight, but, honestly, I don't think it's gonna make that big of a difference, because, um, we're pretty strong right now, and as you see, we do have an extra wither skull, so let's just go ahead, and I'm gonna eat some grape, grape wine, get some of that resistance, get some of the shielding up in here, there we go, and then uh, I guess. Oh, let me get, let me get out this mana tablet here. Mana tablet. Uh, we should have regen, so let's just go ahead and fight this guy. It's gonna be freaking amazing. Uh, no, no, that's not what I want. <laughs> there we go, 300 health. Oh, let's get out of here. Uh, let's let's back out. Let's back out. Let's block. Oh, come on, come on. Oh man, so close. Ah, oh. oh, yes. Uh, what, 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 
What's going on? Okay, there we go. Uh, let me take a screenshot. I know. Look at me. Yes. Okay, perfect screenshot. Let's murder him. Let's murder him. You're murdered. Yup. And good game. Good game. That was easy. Pfft. That was easy, guys. That was super easy. Okay, guys, we're back. So I have made a beacon. We're going to come over here. So, uh, yeah, the last couple clips were last night. Uh, this is the next day. And it was like 4 in the morning, so uh, I, I feel like I couldn't really talk at all. Um, <laughs> but I, I just woke up, so, you know, I can't really talk that well right now either. Um, also, on, on little little more... Uh, are you going to work, man? Uh, on a little more different note, um, we are now... I'm on now, like, day two without water. It Like, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you'll notice yesterday I posted... Um, that uh, <laughs> that the all my pipes are frozen underneath my house, so it kind of sucks. And uh, this is day two without water, so everything's frozen. It kind of sucks balls. And uh, yeah. Uh, also, I, I I forgot to mention this, but I don't know if I showed this yet on camera. But uh, I made this little this little villager like defense thing, whatever this is. I don't know what to call this, but it has these little spikes that come out and then you're like, so like creatures couldn't climb over the walls or whatever. You know, it's more like kind of, it's more like decorative purposes or whatever. Uh, but I think it looks pretty cool. Like the spikes go all the way around here. And then on the inside, uh, we have a little paths that circle around and these little guys are going to be where the villagers are. And uh, I think they look uh, pretty cool. Now, and we also have spikes going up in the middle. Now, we're probably going to have, like, a thing go up and then have, like, the villager uh, face up in the sky or whatever. I'm probably not going to finish that today because I'm running severely limited on time. And, uh, yeah, but that's the plan. And then we're going to stick all the villagers back here. And what I was thinking is we might close this off and then um, we might just auto-spawn or maybe just place a crap ton of villagers just behind where the actual... Um, these things are and then what we can do is just stick like a trading post like in the middle here somewhere and um, be able to access all the trades that way as well uh, but yeah let's uh let's uh, go back here I want to make a trading post uh, well how do you make a trading post I completely forgot here let's see trading post uh, with trading post it should be pretty easy right it's just a block of emerald a jukebox and wood a jukebox is just uh, oh you can actually make it multiple ways Oh yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. And now we need a bunch of wood. Uh, that's what she said? Question mark. No, I don't think that's what she said at all. I don't think anyone has ever said that. Uh, there we go. Trading post. Nice. Okay, so we have a trading post. Uh, now I want to get my. Uh, I'm gonna eat my beef Wellington here. Mmm, yummy. Um, one thing I did notice is every time you die, your food resets. So that's really cool. Man, I kind of like this guy here. I'm not sure if I want to move him. I like this guy here. Huh. Hmm. But uh, for example's sake, let me let me get this guy and let me get some stone and we're going to kind of enclose him off and see what it looks like here. Um, so I'm probably not going to be able to accomplish everything that I wanted to accomplish today just because, like I said before, I'm running out of time here. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest, guys. My mood isn't the greatest right now. <laughs> <laughs> because of the whole water situation and uh yeah so uh, uh let's see uh, let's uh we want to do something like this that's something like this boomy 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 and boomy and then boomy and then we want to stick the villager back there but uh we need some sort of like fence or something do i have a fence just to like stick right here for now i don't think i have a fence you know whatever whatever you guys imagine Imagine this is a fence right here, okay? Just imagine that's a fence. That's a beautiful fence or something. And then we boomy, we stick the villager back there, and we can kind of like trade with him and stuff. And uh, but uh, the way the trading post works is we can just kind of like set it down, boom, and then it's gonna show all the trades. Oh, what? Wait, wait. Did he re like reset or something? No. Uh, trading post. Why you no work, man? Oh, is he, like, not in the correct range or something? I thought this guy's range was huge. Huh, it only shows this. That sucks. I want, like, all of the trades. Dang it. Okay, so before we end the episode, I kind of want to try something here. Let's make a haste 2 pendant. I'm um, ahead and made the pendant, and we're going to go and stick all the things we need for haste. Uh, there we go. Boomy, and then uh, we got some nether warp uh, boomy. And then the should. There we go. Look, haste. Nice. Uh, How is this guy doing? Uh, let me get out my... A little botanical, my botanical uh, wand of the forest thing here. Uh, there we go. Okay, and then how's this guy doing? Okay, so this is going to take a little bit. Hopefully, we have enough mana over time to get this. Um, but before before that finishes, I want to show you. So someone commented. They said it might, might be better if I stick 
um, the grapevines up above the windowsill. So I think I'm actually going to do that. Uh, let me grab, let me grab some dirt here. Let me just grab like a stack of dirt. Boom. Yeah, if we stick a water bucket right here and then do something like, oh, please don't, wow, oh, God, it's washing everything away. Dang it. And then we're going to stick a water bucket like right here as well. There we go. These are a little bit more hidden and uh, they should, they should be a little bit better like that. Uh, boom. Nice. Um, so let's turn all these into seeds. I guess I just need two seeds. And then uh, we need some fence posts. Let's see, fence posts, fence posts, uh, stuff and things, stuff and things. There we go. And uh, we're going to run this all the way up. Boom, like that. And then we're just going to go, I guess, boom, like so. And then let's attach a rope all the way to this guy. There we go. There we go. So this is all the way attached. Now, uh, let's go ahead and just stick like a thing there and then a thing there, I guess. And then uh, we'll stick our seeds. Uh, and then there we go. Nice. So this should spread all the way across. Let me grab some bone meal and then we're going to see how this looks. And then we're going to go take our pendant and we're probably going to call this an episode, uh, which is uh, awesome. There we go. Bone meal. And then let's bone meal all of this guy right here. There we go. Nice. Nice. Like how fast this grows. It's so cool. What? Why you no grow on the left side? There we go. So yeah, how do you? Oh, how do you guys like that over the window still like that? I think that looks pretty good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think that looks way better, honestly. Um, I'm gonna do this all around the house probably, and then we'll have like cool little, cool little grapevine things all the way around the house. I think that'll be pretty sweet. Now let's see. Is our is our pendant? Oh no, 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 no. Um. <laughs> No, 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 no. Uh, is this done? Yes, it's done. Okay, so we have a this is a hay stew pendant. Nice. I kind of want to go try this out. Let's go try this out, guys. Before we end the episode, we have to try this out. Uh, so let's come all the way down into our mine pit. A mine pit. Really, really. Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, let's jump all the way down here. Wee. Oh no, 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 no. Wee. Ow. Okay, and then let's equip this guy. Boom. Uh, then this is this is the 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 regen or whatever. And then let's grab our mana pendant. There we go. Boom. So we have haste too. Oh, look at this. Yes. Oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. Okay. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to go ahead and click the like button. It really help me out. I love y'all's faces. And I'll see you guys for the next one. Uh, and this thing is freaking awesome. I love it. It's kind of like doing the whole beacon thing in vanilla. Everything just breaks instantly. It's sweet.